welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen <laughs> anyway guys it is still winter so it's still soup season so today I'm gonna be bringing to you guys one of my very favorite heart to soup recipes beef and barley soup yes <laughs> it is so hearty guys and it's so simple to make it's so delicious it keeps very well in the fridge so you can make a big batch and store it up in the fridge and thaw it and warm it up and eat it anytime you want so guys take advantage of this cold season and eat all the soup you want <laughs> anyway guys if you want to learn how to do it then just keep watching and okay and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and leave comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already make sure you do it right now what are you waiting for <laughs> anyway I love you guys see you guys in the next video <laughs> so let's get cooking <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need will be your stew and beef that has already been cut up okay so this makes life easy and you'll need some onions chopped of course some carrots you need some tomatoes but this is optional but I love it some celery you need some parsley for color and flavor then some habanero peppers and garlic you need some mushrooms this is optional as well but I love it then you need some bay leaves thyme and rosemary <laughs> and finally you're definitely gonna need some barley which has already been pre-cooked okay so when you pre-cook it it makes your life easy so I'm gonna start off by browning my meat guys this is absolutely important this is like the most important step you need to brown your meat because that's how you get all that real beefy flavor into your soup mm -hmm. <laughs> and because i love to layer my flavors i'm gonna add some salt and some black pepper just to add some flavor to the meat and i'm gonna stir fry this meat until it's brown like i really love to overdo the meat browning process <laughs> because you know what it actually cuts down your cook time for your soup and then it intensifies the flavor okay so just take your time here i'm gonna do this for let me say a couple minutes and uh, oh yeah you just saw me add some dry thyme because i love the extra flavor that dry thyme gives to your meat so stir fry this for like 10 minutes or more depending on the quantity of meat you're stir frying but just make sure your meat is brown okay look at it it looks so good so now i'm gonna take it out of the pan and move on with stir frying my veggies so guys can you see all the drippings and the fat left in the pan guys that is flavor in there that's amazing flavor i love it <laughs> so that's what you get when you brown your meat okay so now i'm gonna put my onions into the pan right away and the onions are gonna soak up all that juicy flavor and drippings and all the nice things left in the bottom of the pan <laughs> so just stir fry your onions for around about i don't know two minutes but just make sure you keep it moving because you don't want to end up with burnt onions guys it's horrible <laughs> so to the onions i'm gonna add my bay leaf and my thyme and my rosemary just because i know that when you stir fry it when you heat it up the those herbs begin to release their flavor okay and that intensifies the flavor of your overall dish so in the pan i added my carrots of course because you need to get the carrots cooked as well so i'm just gonna keep stirring this with the carrots i'm gonna add another two minutes of stir frying i'll add my celery another one minute of stir frying guys just keep it moving okay the aim is to get the veggies softened you know so this is definitely gonna cut down your cook time for your soup okay and i'm hungry guys i need to get this going <laughs> and of course i love to layer my flavors so i'm adding some salt and some pepper to the veggies just to give it some you know <laughs> yeah so just keep stir frying this and we still have a couple things to add i think oh yeah we're gonna go ahead and add our habanero peppers and our garlic into the veggies and just stir fry this for a few more minutes making sure you don't burn your garlic because guys you know burnt garlic is the worst thing ever <laughs> so into my veggies i'm gonna add my meat and all the drippings okay you don't want to miss out on any flavor okay make sure you scrape everything into the pan okay <laughs> and i'm adding my beef stock guys you can totally use homemade one but i'm in a hurry today and i don't have any homemade beef stock so i'm using the store bought one which is good it's organic and it's lovely <laughs> so i have this in the pan i'm gonna bring this to a sizzle and i'm gonna cover it and let it go for 20 minutes or 15 minutes actually because i was hungry <laughs> so i let this go for 15 minutes and this is what it looks like guys the meat is soft and tender so i'm gonna go ahead now and take out my my herbs because you don't want to have it floating around in your soup it's just disgusting okay and nobody eats bay leaves because it's so hard 
and sharp <laughs> so make sure you fish out all the stalks and the bay leaves from your soup and then you can go ahead to add the rest of the ingredients okay so now I'm putting my mushrooms because I don't want it to get too soft and mushy that's why I did not add it in the beginning of the cooking process and I also put in my tomatoes some salt and of course some additional pepper because your girl likes it when it's spicy okay <laughs> so I'm gonna stir this all up and now it's time to add my barley so guys this is why it's good to use pre-cooked barley because it totally makes your life easy okay so now that I have my barley in there I'm just gonna stir this up really good I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes oh and don't forget to add a few drops of your Worcestershire sauce I love it but it's totally optional okay and I've added my parsley now stir the whole thing up cover it like I said and let it go for 20 minutes until all the flavors are married together everything is soft and nice and this is what it looks like after 20 minutes guys it is yummy i'm telling you it's delicious <laughs> i love it anyway if you live close to my house come eat with me <laughs> it's so good so guys give this a try and in the comment section down below let me know what you think okay i love you guys thank you for watching guys and guys don't forget to leave comments down below like this video share this video and guys if you have not subscribed this is the time to do it okay go ahead and subscribe and support a sister okay <laughs> I love you guys see you guys in the next video bye